In episode 18, I will build a Lego tower to make the fuselage go up and down. Build this rotating rig, and the final footage is the best so far by a long, long way. So I have this box of Lego from when I was a kid, and I attached a flat brick to the back of the stay, with glue like that. And it will click into a brick that I glued to wire from a coat hanger. It's pretty durable. I can wave it around without it popping out. And I have this bracket from a mobile phone holder that has a small ball and socket joint on one end. The idea is that I can move it through all the angles in 3D space and also I will create a little device to swing the fuselage up and down in a regular pattern. And I plan to create a little rotating chair so that I can swing the, the robot completely in a circle and move the angle with my knees while flapping the wings using my hands. So this is the circular wood just carving out a space for a pivot using my high speed rotating tool. Just here, gluing on the underside of the coat hanger and a part of the mobile phone holder socket joint. So I bought this little motor and gear set from the electronics store JCAR. When you attach all the gears, it steps down the motor from 1200 RPM to about 7 RPM. And I want a slow turn. So I built a Lego tower to mount my engine with a flywheel attached. And I made a brass piston I attached to the fuselage. And when I turn on the motor the flywheel turns around moving the piston and fuselage goes up and down. So the Lego tower was temporary I have built a tower out of wood. And of course it works the same. And I wanted some sort of vertical tail, so here I am making one out of parts from the model Fokker E11 that I have. So I took it into the shed to film against the green screen. Here's the footage, turned right side up. The piston did catch in a way that was not too good. The problem here is that when I flap the wings it changes all the angles. Some angles it was okay, but it was kind of fiddly. So the next part is making the rotating rig. I will make it from an old swivel chair. Just to demonstrate how this works, the idea is that I can pivot the wood with my knees. So it will tilt in 3D space and the chair rig will make it rotate in a circle. So first step is to attach the pivot of the old swivel chair to this piece of wood. And then I have attached one of the armrests to a pipe, which will act as a counterweight when it's done. Then I have removed the rolling wheels and I cut the base of them flat with a hacksaw. Then I glue them closed. When I put them back on you can see how the pivot rotates when I sit in the middle. So I have reinforced this pipe so that it will support a 5 kilogram gym weight. Then I need to add extra support with these rotating wheels that I will add underneath where I sit and also under the gym weight counterweight. And when I test that works exactly how I want it to. As I head to the shed to set up for filming let me give a shout out to one of my favourite YouTube channels Pierce Film Productions which is a very nostalgic channel featuring interviews and still images with the world of model makers who worked on special effects for motion pictures from when scale physical models were a core part of special effects everything from cliffhanger to men in black true lies alien blade runner their jobs sound and look really cool they build all these amazing miniatures then blow them up and rig cameras set up to film from different angles what these guys do is so inventive and practical and led me to think well i can try that in my shed in my study at a more modest level. Links in the description. So I'm all set, let's try this out. 
All right, so I built this whole rig and I can see straight away that this is not really working. The piston keeps getting caught and eventually the coat hanger Lego block popped off the robot. So I made the dramatic decision to ditch the fuselage moving machine and make a very simple rig. Basically I glued the model to a brass pipe which I will screw into the base. I cut the wood plate to be much smaller and better balance than before. So here I am just going to test to see if this nice simple rig will work. So just testing the wings flap I can move the angle with my knees and that's actually the movement feels pretty instinctive quite natural. The next day I filmed the back plates using my homemade dolly. So I got this brilliant comment on my previous video from Michael Makemore, who says, You can give the weight to the wing flap by going slower on the down push and faster on the upswing, slowing into the top position, similar to the timing and spacing of your hand while bouncing a basketball. Well thank you Michael, let's try that. So for filming I got into a green screen suit which I fully acknowledge is a strange look but it allows me to key out my body. Alright, let's try out the variable speed movement. I oh know Michael, I think I've done it backwards, faster on the down, slower on the up swing. <laughs> a little bit of bobble and I'm moving it back and forth with my knees. So here is the compositive video of the flyby with the new rig that looks kind of cool. The angle of flight doesn't quite match the angle I filmed the background on. This is a 25 second motion shot. The movement here is the best so far. The background is just a looped tracking shot with the directional blur added. I've also filmed some video flying into and away from the camera but was not happy with the look. Decision, I oh, will keep this rig. So there are two possibilities for the next video. Either I will demonstrate building two Marquette models of the living machine. This one here is already finished. Or Andy Mecca has issued a bottle top robot challenge. He says, I'm going to design a series of bots, droids, using mainly plastic lids. If you're up for the challenge, get building and send me your pics. I'll post them in my next video. Well Andy, I accept that challenge. Well, I have this empty bottle that my wife gave me which will be perfect for making a flying attack robot. I'm going to try speed build this time and, and make it using the same rig as the other robot and then I have two types of robots flying off the airship in the short film. That's all for now. Go and watch Pierce Film Productions for some old school movie special effects stories. Link in the description or you can check out any of these videos from my own channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.